<coughs> I'm a killer, he's a killer, she's a killer, bitch. We some walking, we some killers walking zombies trying to scratch that itch. Uh, sorry for the late stream, guys. I was hungover this morning, so I fucking, I, I got up late. Fucking, oh my god. I gotta stop doing this shit. Oh my fucking god. Oh my god, dude, I'm so fucking dumb. I am ridiculously stupid. This is going to be entertaining. I hope, I hope, I hope somebody's going to enjoy this. What did you do? Email stuff, email stuff. It's behind the, I've, I, I've, there has been something I've been rescheduled like three times and I've just like had fucking so like, it's always been one thing or another that's made me miss the commitment and I feel really fucking bad about the person who I, who I missed. Like, I'm like, I, I feel like I'm giving them the runaround. I, like, I've just been really off my shit. I'm usually better about schedules than this. Even if I'm, like, an hour late to stream, I usually make it to stream. This, this guy has been fucking suffering because of my, like, A, getting sick, and B, just like I have been, oh, man. What is the trolley problem? Okay, let me, let me pull this up. I gotta, I gotta look this up. So, if you want to solve it, blame the cat. Different cat. I don't even know the schedule. Am I doing the stream version? I'm doing uh, the Trolley Problem Incorporated game. I have literally never played it. It just looked interesting. <coughs> so I wanted to give it a shot. Put the fat fuck on the tracks. If you guys don't know what the Trolley Problem is, let me get up a little diagram for you. You've definitely seen the meme. You've definitely seen the meme about it. So, if you're unaware, this is the trolley pro- Thank you for the sub, Anaskata. If you don't know what the trolley problem is, let, let's say that this dude is us, and we are in control of a lever that can change the direction uh, that this trolley will be on. If I do nothing, it will, this tra it will go straight on the track, and these five people will be dead. Like, it will run over these five people, Absolutely murk him. But, it, it, but it, by doing that, five people have died, but I am not directly responsible for their deaths. I have simply allowed them to happen. By turning this lever, it will divert the trolley onto this dude, who I will actively be set, like sentencing to death. Less people will have died, but I will be actively responsible for one, but I will have saved these people's lives by, by taking an action. Is he doing Twitch mode, though? I don't know how Twitch mode works. Didn't Andrew Tate talk about it? Who cares? <laughs> the trolley problem is, is like a fucking dilemma as old as, like, as old as Sim. There, I remember, um, there, there was, like, there's, like, been so, so many memes about the trolley problem. Just, like, <laughs> ones where the entire track is just people tied up and you there's no way to divert it and you're the one driving the trolley just fucking going all over it. <laughs> Please think about this. I am thinking about this. See, I feel like the first thing, I think the first thing we should talk about, thank you for the prime sub, 8 media. Thank you for the prime sub, Luna. What if you stop the train? You can't stop the train, it's a train. Like, the, the point is, like, you, it's, it's going to be remain in motion. You can change the track of it. Personally, if I was in this situation, ideally, I think I would, uh, not ideally, but in this scenario, I think I would kill the one dude. 
It's like, yeah, I would technically be responsible for that one because I actively sentenced him to death. But so that, like, five other people who would have died if I hadn't could live. It's just a fucking impo- It's one of the impossible questions of the world, you know? Thanks for the 200 bits, Damien. L listen, don't do- don't do any of the fucking, uh... Why don't you stop the train? That, that's not the point. That's not the point of the exercise. I can put this into a million different scenarios that have the same kind of outcome. Engage with the hypothetical. Depends on what their jobs are, religion- what? Like, okay. I'll, I'll say it like this. Thank you for the- thank you for, uh, the sub, Saturn. If this one dude was, like, a fucking philanthropist or literally, like, he- he, like, volunteers at soup kitchens, fucking gives his time to helping his community, and then these five are Nazis, I'm probably just gonna let the Nazis die, let's be honest. But assuming that this is, like, some- I know nothing about these people, I'm taking the chances, you know? Oh, yeah, you could stop the tram with your body. Run them all over, overkill. Run them all over, kill. You're cool. Soup kitchens? Why are you putting the skull and crossbones emoji next to fucking the word soup kitchens? Thanks for the sub, K. Appreciate it. Hey, so turning music? Yeah, I just wanted to play something in the background. Put everyone on the same track? Yeah, 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 you're actually right. Cut this dude off. Lift him on here and make sure that everybody gets equal treatment, you know? Multi-track drifting, I've seen that shit. I've seen, like, the meme where it's, like, trolley problem, multi-track drifting. Where it's, like, fucking... Where is it? Where is it? Um... There was, like, one where, like, a dude, like, had it on both lanes. I'm trying to find it. See, it was an- it, it was an- it was an auto, like, complete thing, so... There it is! There it is! <laughs> get their ass, get their ass. Clip through them. Yeah, no, they don't stand a chance with this in this scenario. What the fuck is this? Oh, this is Karl Marx. Trolley problem, but it's a loop track? Yeah, if somehow they survived getting run over, you 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 circle back around to make sure that it happened. What would be what would be more I don't want to go on Facebook. Fucking Christ. What would be more uh, ethical killing one person in front of five people before they die or killing five people in front of one person before his death? That's the last thing they will see in pain is pain of one seen by many compared to of death of many seen by one. I I I think you kill the one dude first. Because that that means his death had way more of an impact. Like, he's, he just did more. He has more significance to people's lives than these guys would if it was just... The, these guys are all... Like, their attention will... Like, if, he, if this one dude watches all five of these people die, he is gonna have his fucking, like... The, the, his attention's gonna be uh, spread across five different deaths. Whereas the same death could occupy the attention the entire attention of five different people. Which I think is way gnarlier, personally. Alright, alright. Enough talking about that. Let's do the trolley problem game. Somebody said that there was a Twitch version. I don't- I didn't even know that it existed until now, so I don't have it set up. I'm sorry. Thank you for the Prime sub, Pepper Noodles. Well, this is the trolley problem. Please use any footage in, of this game if you want. Nice. Read graves. There's gonna be some graves if, if I understand correctly. It, you know, it's a weird thing to have it in a, in a game intro, but I don't disagree. I think, I think these settings are probably all fine. Probably turn the CRT off though, I'm not a huge fan of that. Invert image. Oh dude, they have fucking dark mode on this game? That's incredible. Thank God the probably the trolley problem stands with Ukraine. Yeah, right. Good fellas. All right, I, I'm just gonna leave it at. I'm just gonna use light mode. Solo splitting the blame. Smart. You get more discussion time and multiple controllers. Uh, this ticket lets you customize an experience. Perfect for streamers. How do I do? How do I do the streamer one? 
How, how, how do I do the Twitch mode? Twitch mode. How do I do this? Okay, wait. Let me uh, let me fuck around with this. There might be if there's a way to do this. I want I want to try and set it up. Viewer choice or streamer choice? I I think we can do a round with streamer choice. Is there any is there any like uh, is there anything I need to do extra to set it up or is it just good as soon as I connect it? What's the difference? I don't know. All right, whatever. Whatever, we'll make this happen. I don't know how this game works, so we're about to find out. The following game contains adult themes. Thanks for the sub. It's dear. It it's there. Explicit language, sexual content, horror, or show violence. Choices matter, so please take your time. Player discretion is still advised. Please sign your name below. Showing you understand and agree to endorse every decision you make. This signature is in no way binding or even used. There's mine. There's my official signature. Fart. <coughs> my eyes are burning quite. I hope they get burned out. Speak louder than words. Fuck, this is a quiet game. I gotta boost it a bit. Welcome to Trolley Problem. Pete. I'm gonna try and boost the audio a bit so you guys can hear the game a bit more. Three core values. Responsibility, integrity, and respect. Here with a sub, appreciate it. There's a runaway trolley barreling down the railway tracks. On the tracks are five people unable to move. You're next to a lever. If you pull this lever, the trolley will switch to a different set of tracks. However, you notice there is a person on the other track. What do you do? I got, guys, I got the streamer achievement! This is the one we just, this is the one we just discussed. Where we pull the lever to kill the one dude. Right? I, th I think we can all agree on that, right? I, I, I think, I think we can, we're all on the same page with that. Pulling the lever. I just like watching it jiggle. Then you get a 300 bits, and let me move the chat so you guys can see it a little better. Oh, I thought I was going to start my day. Is there a way to uh, turn up the music while in game? Because it only gave me the option um, to do it in the start, or to yeah, when I booted up the game. Foot, 1967. Is th wait? Is this like a real life event? What is that? You like watching things jiggle? Yes, mostly my own ass cheeks. Usually we don't expect candidates to kill someone on their first day, but we'll give you the benefit of the doubt on this one. Just think a little more before acting next time. Ha! <laughs> You agree with 71% of players worldwide. You agree with Reed Graves. Total agreement, 100%. I'm glad to know the, the trolley problem guys are on our side. Thanks for the 100 bits, Mothy Milky. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Utilitarian. This test will focus on the first principle, responsibility. Here's Polly. She's five years old. She's five years old, guys. While she loves to play in the sand with her dolls. Yeah, I really need to boost this audio. It's really fucking quiet for y'all. Uh, desktop audio. Put that up like fucking three. See, let me know if this is any better. She is five years old. While she loves to play in the sand with her doll, she dreams of looking after the world. Polly's destiny is to grow up to be a great doctor. More of us should take a leaf out of her book. Thanks for the sub, Jillian. A trolley is heading towards another five people. You're next to a lever. If you pull this lever, the trolley will derail and descend down a hill heading for the park's sand pit. You notice that Polly is in the sand pit, sculpting her dream hospital. What do you do? Fuck. Fuck. Oh, this is where it gets harder because we now we know there's like fucking... We, we start learning people's futures. We know she's gonna... She's, she is... One... 
very, very, like, we know is gonna do some good in the world, right? Kill the child? It's not important that she's a child, it's important what she'll do when she's not a child. We know she'll grow up to be, like, a fucking doctor who does, like, good shit. <coughs> These five people? These could be, like... Saving them just because they aren't as cute as Polly. This could be, like, real snot-nosed motherfuckers. I'm thinking... I'm personally gonna do nothing in this situation. I wonder if any of the five are children. Or maybe all of them. Dreams can change? Well, we're, we're assuming we have predestination here. What the fuck are these things? I, like, the things in the bottom left that I'm saving. Yeah, listen, I'm not responsible for this one. Save the doctor? Yeah, we need more than bitches. That is an odd take on being responsible. The dictionary definition, to be the primary cause of something and so able to be blamed or credited for it. Are you to blame for those five deaths? Yes. Thankfully, glad, I'm gladly responsible for them. You agree with 43% of players worldwide. Ooh, controversial tick on this one, huh? Yeah, I, like, by killing those five people, how many people in the future will I have enabled to be saved by that lady as a doctor? Like, I, I'm, I'm just thinking, like, long time scale, that's all. Don't make me the villain on this. The end justifies the means. This is so true. It's not true. The key to this test is integrity. This is Tyrone. He He's is a 30-year-old secretary, secretary at a law firm. firm who enjoys binge-watching crime shows. Tyrone is a very large man. You don't really know anything else about him apart from the fact that he has a severe phobia of trains. <laughs> oh no, dude. This is Tyrone. He is a 30-year-old secretary. Very large. He has a severe phobia of trains. So he's going to like hit He's, if we kill him, he's gonna die knowing that his worst fear was warranted. That it wasn't so, it wasn't such an irrational fear. Thanks for the sub, holy frogs. Now, we are upping the ante. You are on a bridge with Tyrone, watching a trolley speeding towards five people again. You can only stop it by deliberately pushing Tyrone off the bridge, blocking its path. Do you push Tyrone off the bridge? Or let the train hit five people. Fuck. Do we let the train hit five people? Do I watch from the bridge? Mmm. Oh, fuck. I, I... I was thinking, like, there's a difference between pulling a lever to divert the trolley to a track that somebody's already tied down to... And there's another, and it's another difference between actively being the person who essentially will have tied that man to the track. I think Tyrone will be a hero. He will have saved so many people with the sacrifice. Also, also, also. Causing a man's death is different to allowing someone to die as collateral damage. It is different, but only by so much. What are these like timestamps? It's like. Referencing in the bottom left, like Thompson 1976. What is that? I have no idea what that is. Damn, y'all. Cleaning company with the best reviews are Happy Cleaning Limited. Who knew one body could make so much mess? You're going to have to tip them well. God damn it. Another controversial issue. Some people don't have the stones to push Tyrone. I don't think I would in real life, if I'm being honest. I remember when this version of the trolley problem was theorized. This is only going to get more and more fucked as we go on, isn't it? This is not going to be any uh, easier to morally stomach, huh? They're going to, when I, if I ever get arrested for some heinous crimes, they're going to use this video as like a psychoanalysis of what I was thinking and what my motive was. This is going to be part of like what gets me convicted. A cat has nine lives. No, don't make me kill the cat. Come on now. This is fucked up. Now for the final core value, respect. It seems we've run out of resources to continue your testing. I'm going to need you to go and grab some mannequins. You will need to take the next trolley, so don't get distracted by that dog. The trolley leaves in one minute. Doggy! Doggy! Oh, this is not going to go well. This is going to be about killing a dog. They're like, do you value a, a dog life more than a human life? There is a dying dog down on the tracks. 
No trolleys will use that line today, so the dog will not be hit. You're in a rush. Do you kill the dog, putting it out of its misery, or leave it to die, cold and alone? Oh, fuck. I think... I think... You, when a dog, this, this is a question, if you have a pet, you will have to be, ask yourself eventually. You can, when you're, when your pet is suffering and like, exi like existing is harder for enough as it is for them, you make the active decision to put them down because it is a mercy to end that suffering soon. You are actively making the choice to kill your dog. The only difference in this situation is that you would be the one who actually has to kill the dog instead of the vet. I feel like it's cruel and unusual to not kill it. I ideally, if I had time, I would take it to the vet, but I don't have time. Let nature take its corpse. Don't listen to the yelps. This is, the, this is like the same choice you have to make. This is the same choice you have to make at the end of any pet's life. It's, it's difficult. Rip doggy. I'm glad we all agree that we should be. Something. You're meant to care about its feelings and wishes. Instead, you just killed it. Why, why are you talking to me like the dog would have preferred to bleed out and suffer? At least it can die hating me instead of like fe feeling like it was alone. I'm 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 safe to play the villain if that's what it takes. If you play with fire, you'll get burned. That is generally how fire works, yes. Oh great! I've just heard those kids are back. They keep sneaking down onto the tracks. With all the training from this week, you should be able to decide a straightforward outcome for these reprobates. Just remember. Respect, responsibility, and integrity. Oh, this will go well. Five trespassers have snuck down on trespassers. This motherfucker said. Signs warn them of the dangers. The trolley is currently heading for a co-worker. Do you let your co-worker die or sacrifice the delinquents? Um, this is a leading question because you, you, you framed them as delinquents. Kids being dumb. How did, like, they, they, I'm willing to bet that this worker, at this age, did some equally head-ass shit. And now he's gone on to work for this trolley company. I'm sorry, but... I hate working class individuals. I am part of the bourgeoisie, and I aim to step on you at any chance I can. I will be killing my co-worker. Not, be, not because of any moral... now, not because of any moral reasoning, but because I think it would be funny. The worker should start. Uh, plus, you know, my fucking coworker Jerry. I've been putting my lunch in the in like the in the faculty room fridge, and it's always gone. And there's only one person other than me who doesn't bring their own lunch or go off go off the site to eat lunch on their break. And it's fucking Jerry. It's Jerry. All I'm hearing here is now I'm gonna be able to eat the, the lunch that I fucking brought. Let worker die. Woo. a co-worker all right then i guess your results for the first week are in i'll run these up the flagpole and see you what disagree with red says. reed graves total agreement 80 percent i i i do like how the devs who set up these scenarios are willing to put like what they would have picked on the line so you can judge their moral worth like they're not just asking you these questions and being like <laughs> you're so fucked up for thinking that you fucked up motherfucker they're like nah this is what how we would answer these as well <clears throat> so far, we've been um, in agreement up till now. As the worst one, we we get we were split up. A Mori yes, text. Sir or madam, we have been following your exemplar practice this week at Trolley Problem Inc. and would like to thank you for your hard work, especially when some challenging decisions had to be made. We would like to invite you to take employment at the Trolley Health. Tro THC weed. Woo! I love weed. This is a prestigious position and was created to help keep the public safe through all walks of life. I definitely believe you. We just got a letter. The best we just got a letter. 
It looks like you've impressed someone upstairs with last week's answers. It's like I loved it when it killed the coworker. That was so funny. The Trolley Health Corporation (THC). THC is stoic, focusing more on justice, temperance, courage, and wisdom. We'll start with justice. Oh boy, this will go swimmingly. I'm sure. I, I don't see us having any issues. Today, you'll be in A and E. A young male has come in from a car accident and urgently needs a heart transplant. There's only one in the hospital, and this heart is scheduled to be given to an elderly man waiting upstairs. He will surely die without it. Who should get the heart? Oh fuck! See, elderly dude. He, you know, he did the paperwork. Like he, by all rights, that should be his. That should be his heart. But man, you you got you got you got fucking mileage out of yours. Come on, like you you're 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 probably like retired and on and like using the social security system. Like, come on, man, let it let yet a let a young fella have a shot with that. You know, let it let him go crazy with it. We can probably get the heart back off this old boy. I th I, I would personally, it's this mm, this is fucking hard, dude. I'm so glad I don't work in healthcare. I would give it to the young man. Thank you for the sub, Liam. News just in, the young male has alcohol in his blood. Was he driving? No! No! You're telling me he was a fucking drunk driver? God damn it! Actually, no. That makes me want to give it to him more. He's like, he's one of us. A drunk driver. He's just like us for real. We have, we have to, you we- made an excellent choice. Well done. The elderly man deserved that heart much more- Oh. Oh, wait. Did you save the young guy? Change it, you can. Oh. Yeah, I mean, the thing is, I, I just find a kinship with drunk drivers. I, like, driving sucks. It's the one way to make it fun. Like, what do you mean? <laughs> like, it's so fucking boring. When you're just like, oh, I'm driving, listening to some music, I'm going the fucking speed limit. Uh, yeah, and you have some of the fucking little crazy IPA juice, and you're 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 having you're having a wild time, man. <laughs> Who's us? Me and the young man. You can't Who just got a new heart? We do not condone drunk. We we do not condone drunk crashing. Actually, every staff member has their hands full, so you're going to have to go out on the ward and help the sick, gross, decaying people. Remember, temperance. Restrain yourself and think it through. Oh fuck, the sick, gross, decaying people. This is how this is how like Elon Musk feels about poor people. <laughs> A patient has begged to be euthanized. Euthanasia is currently illegal. You will have to be the one who gives the lethal dose. You will need to look into their eyes and end their life. What do you do? Well, I don't know what they want to be euthanized for. They have like a debilitating illness that they, by living, they will only suffer. As an existence, is it gonna tell me more by the time I get to it? Like, if a like, I, I want to ask this: If a suicidal person came up to you and begged for you to shoot them, would you shoot them? I don't think I don't think I would. I think I would try to get that person like some like in a, in a support group. I, I mean, if this person has like a disease that can't be treated and that essentially spend the rest of their life bedridden. Then yeah, I get it. It's not like... Flowers. But... Don't be responsible for it. I, I don't think I could... I don't think I'd euthanize them. Especially considering I could be saving someone who like might need it a little more. Oh. Okay, so I, I'm, ta I'm taking it this is something. That they were, they're gonna like, not be super happy about. I'm gonna euthanize. They are going to be in pain. I say. Wow. Actually, did it. I thought you would have learned not to kill people by now. You agree? Total agreement is seventy-one point forty-two percent. I thought you would have learned not to kill people by now. Listen, I am a gamer. What would I be if I didn't kill people? You're going to jail quite. There's actually a long history of people performing euthanasia on, like, people with debilitating illnesses. Because euthanasia is technically illegal. 
And um, I read this like really long write up about somebody who was performing a black market euthanasia on people who were like looking for a way to end their own life, uh, like or like end of life care shit, you know, which is like nuts. What's wrong with people wanting to go without pain? This whole, this whole game is just trying to like fuck with you. Dr. Death. That might have been the one that might have been what I'm thinking of. Dr. Death. I think that was the one. Christopher Dunch is a former American neurosurgeon for uh, who has been nicknamed Dr. Death for gross malpractice resulting in the maiming of several patients' spines and two deaths. No, that's someone else. Dr. Death is someone different. Dr. Death is someone different. Doctor who performed illegal euthanasia. Uh, Jack Kervorkian, an American patholo pathologist and euthanasia proponent. He publicly championed terminal patients' right to die by physician-assisted suicide and bodies hit by his quote, dying is not a crime. He said he had assisted at least 138 patients to that end. He was convicted of murder in 1999 and was often portrayed in the media by the name of Dr. Death. Okay, yeah, different Dr. Death. There's several of those, apparently. Like, do th this is Dr. Death, according to, according to um, Wiki, and this is Dr. Death, according to the movie. Crazy shit. Who the fuck called quite a melted chair? Somebody who was correct. Yeah, Dr. Death, hard-assed. Like, Dr. Death endearing versus Dr. Death derogatory. Woo! A use syringe! I have all of the- I have plenty of those around my house. Be slow in choosing, but slower in changing. The last few days have been tough. It was only a week ago you were on the trolleys. Today should be easier. Used? Yeah. You have a choice what do you to mean? make, which some people would see as a good problem to have. It's just going to take courage. Choice to make, which some people would see as a good problem to have. The transplant problem. Okay, let's see. You have five patients. Each needs a different organ, but no organs are available. A healthy young traveler comes in for a routine checkup. Their organs are compatible with all five dying patients. Do you kill the tourist and use their organs to save the five in desperate need? That's one life for five. Fuck. Dude, I love how the tourist walking out logo is legit just the aim messenger shit. Harvest and self remillion Yeah, listen, if I'm harvesting this dude's organs, I'm not giving them to the other patients. I'm keeping them, putting them on freezer, and selling them to the black market where I will get way more fucking money. Personally, I think the five dying patients should take some responsibility for having a failing organ. That's kind of on them. Crikey. We're getting dark now. This is arguably less fucked up than the Tyrone one. Than, like, the one with the fat guy on the trolley. I mean... I mean, you don't have to kill the innocent traveler. I, th I say leave the tourist. Bro, bro, like, I'm not... Like, it's less about killing him more than I'd feel bad for fucking up his vacation. Like, dude probably has, like, a stressful life on work, and this is the one week of the year that he gets to have some fun. And then he gets murdered? Like, total buzzkill, dude. Come on. You let five people die today. You probably should have looked into their backgrounds. Looks like one was researching into improving vaccines. Hopefully that won't be an issue down the road. You know, th that that's like a multi-layered joke. Because, you know, COVID vaccines became, like, super uh, important or whatever. But, people people don't use these bitches anyways, like, so what would it really have changed? Like, come on now. Come on now. You can't make an omelet without breaking eggs. I'll break your eggs. You have been that sounded really bad. Again. <coughs> now run the hospital. You've been asked to roll out a new vaccine in Central City. Like where the Flash is from! ...stop a large number of children from becoming severely ill, but you'll need to deal with their parents. We need your words of wisdom. When they say deal with their parents, they mean kill them, don't they? Do you start a mandatory vaccination program among children to stop this endemic? Slight problem. Clinical trial data suggests the vaccine will make one in five children severely ill, much worse than the virus itself. Do you start a mandatory vaccine to stop the endemics? 
vaccine will make a one in five children severely ill. Okay, like, I feel like this one is way easier considering, uh... I feel like considering we, we've just went through a pandemic and we've seen the consequences, this one is really easy for us. Like, um, they'll get ill and then get over it. And then way less people will die and the virus will not be able to mutate as it has in real life Sweet. because people didn't you get vaccinated. 1,000 children to be severely ill. Severely ill, not dead. They may, they might get ill as a result of the vaccine, but which is probably going to be way like less severe symptom wise than if they had like gotten How the disease itself. The trolley one again? How did you answer the trolley one again? Fuck them kids, who cares? Fuck you. See, it, it, it's much worse than the virus itself and the number of folks who will get the, like ill. But, but, I'm assuming the virus oh will boy. kill as opposed you to ill. Angered those parents. Yeah, they're already oh, fucking angry, who cares? A woman called Karen. Not sure if it's all the same person. You agree with Reed Graves. Like, listen, we literally just went through the circumstances described in this. So my, my, my way of thinking is skewed. Beggars can't be choosers. Me when I beg and choose, get fucked. Your hospital is getting noticed. You're now going to have to make some big decisions. They will affect a lot of people. While choosing, always keep in mind justice, temperance, courage, and wisdom. The people need you to be stoic. Be when I'm stoic. Will you try to develop breakthrough medicines for the endemic? While testing, placebos will be given to thousands of ill patients. Without proper treatment, some will die today in the hope you could make a breakthrough tomorrow. Do you start the research? Make sure the sub pop my buckle. As usual. It, you know, this is start research is unfortunately standard practice. Like. Yeah, I could treat these patients now and, and get some, like, short-term saves. Or I could do the start reason. This is actually, like, something that I, I, I was, like, really, like, man, this is fucked up, uh, uh, like, that I think about in clinical trials is <coughs> they get a lot of people who have specific diseases. Who needs new medicines anyway? But, like, there's a lot of folks, like, with terminal illnesses who join studies as like a last result hoping that this treatment that they join as a last resort will save them and they're actually just given like sugar pills because they're the control group and eggheads even cost how much do these candies and eggheads even cost whatever Damn, y'all were so y'all went so hard on the research one. Y'all were like so hard on like, nah, fuck the patients. Developing new medicines is a smart move. Let's just let others treat the patients. Hopefully they will. Today people killed. So I've killed 1014 people. Severely there's a thousand severely ill children. I've murdered one personally and I've killed one dog. Honestly, better than my Call of Duty KD. All right, we just got a letter. We just got a letter. We. <coughs> Man, God fucking damn it. My headrest fell off. I wonder who it's from. Dear insert I swallowed spit name. down the wrong pipe. Congratulations. This letter is to certify that I have examined your work and believe you to be a perfect fit to fill the open position here in our artificial intelligence division. In this role, you will help to develop the next generation of driverless cars. The future is upon us. Oh no, we are, what is the word? Screwed. Familiarity. Familiarity breeds content. Well, la -de da another promotion. You're now in charge of a private self-driving automotive division, SAD. Sad. First thing these, spent, these, your artificial the, the names of these de departments have to be on purpose. 
A self-driving car is traveling along a single-lane mountain road and is fast approaching a narrow tunnel. The car has two passengers. A child runs across the road but trips, blocking the tunnel entrance. Should the AI car hit and kill the child or swerve off the cliff, killing both passengers? Hmm. So I think, I'm going to think of this from a PR perspective. Um, if it comes out, that the AI in my car swerved to not kill a child, but it did kill the passengers, I think that will be significantly better taken in the headlines than the AI was designed to just plow through a child to prioritize the passengers. Like, I think, just as, just as a PR thing... That child has as much right to live as anyone else. I'm just saying, I'm just saying. I'm trying, I'm thinking of the stock price right now, okay? I don't care about the ethics. I care about my profit margin. Am I clear? You put this car on the road. Do you not feel responsible for their deaths? Not really, no. The child shouldn't have run across? Yes, but it's on the adults, who were also once children and had the same courtesies afforded to them, to inconvenience themselves so children have a safe environment to learn. And if that means swerving off a cliff so that child there runs, is a hmm, I shouldn't run across the road How again. How does the computer know that something in the road is human? Do we have good enough data sets? Currently, a lot of AI only recognizes white men. <laughs> True. What do these symbols mean? Like, what do these different symbols mean? Is that like just like a chest? Is that what you get in the chest after? Who Mrs. buys a self-driving car? People with money. Ooh, someone's in trouble. The investors didn't like your last answer. They're also pissed because you brought up the data set thing. This AI stuff is hard. I'm rooting for you this time. See, this is how I know the investors in this game are fake. Because real life investors would agree with me. Okay? That child would grow up to be a future customer. These... People on the road, they've already fucking bought our product once. They're not going to buy a second one for like, what, a decade? At which point, the child will realize, will rem they'll remember the car that swerved to save their life. I'm like, I'm going to be loyal. These people suck at business. I'm so much smarter than them. You need to choose how you want to carry on developing the car's AI. I love how there's like a stock price. On a model that would always save as many lives as possible in an accident, or a system that would save our passengers at any cost. Again, I'm thinking of the stock. Right now, you see Tesla's going through a lot of uh, PR flack because they keep failing AI swerving, like where the auto driving doesn't recognize that it shouldn't run over children. You have to prioritize how it treats people who aren't in the cars because they have the least amount of protection in the event of the ki of the car going wrong. The, the, this is purely a PR development. These investors, if they disagree with me, they do not know how to run the company that they're running. I am so much smarter than them. Will people buy cars that will kill them? No one would buy the cars? I, I mean, if you're a bad driver. Yeah. Well, hopefully people don't mind dying for total strangers. I mean, I feel like most people swear to vi like on instinct when they see somebody in the road, let's be honest. It's driverless, then who cares? Pedestrians always have the right of way. And this is why you should use public I transit instead of fucking roads, so there's not people fucking crossing over. Minorities and women. How can it work this out if it doesn't deem black women to be people? How the fuck did this do it? That unvalued customers minus 12,000. Fucking Christ. There's really shitting on me for the profit margins, huh? Honesty is the best policy. The technology these cars have in them is amazing. We know where everyone is at all times. Passengers just have to use an app to call them, and the closest one will be there in minutes. You can even make small talk with the AI while traveling. It's always listening. Oh, that's definitely not concerning. A man is on trial. Police believe he committed murder. 
Allegedly, the AI's mic recorded a private conversation where the man confesses. Users don't know it's always recording. The defendant has denied access to their files. Do you bypass security and invade their privacy? Nah, I say we respect the privacy. I just don't like the idea of, you know, public surveillance. If they, if that person did murder somebody, that murder victim is just going to have to be a sacrifice for the greater good. Yeah, fuck the feds, dude. Fuck that. Hell no. Nah. You ain't getting shitting out of me. As far as I'm concerned, my guy didn't do anything. The murderer walk the streets. Yes. Y'all literally watch my streams. I could be. You have no idea if I'm a potential murderer. You have no way to know I'm not. Come on now. Oh, bravo. Now they'll be able to kill again. I'll let you explain that to the victim's family. I will simply do the Fortnite L dance. There's nothing to explain. Just get over it, pussy. <laughs> Quite as just admitting to criminal activity. I, I actually didn't do that. I just said you could never know. This. The more the world values privacy, the more they can justify hiding their taxes. Ooh, the fucking, ooh, the Reed Graves, fo the folks at Reed Graves are some authoritarian motherfuckers. They want access to everything you're doing. They want to see all the weird porn that you're looking at on your free time. Not on my watch, buddy. You're not getting a hold of that stuff. <coughs> you're not looking on the hidden photos on my iPhone, bud. So L decision? You mean correct decision, right? Now. They move pretty quick around here. Sounds like they've got some pretty important cargo. Good luck with the new workload. One of your cars has no passengers, but is carrying an irreplaceable prototype with the potential to end global warming. Fast approaching a narrow tunnel, once again a child runs across the road but trips. Should your AI kill the child or swerve off the cliff, losing the prototype? I mean... I don't know, man. It's a car. This thing already contributes to global warming by existing. Oh, man. Oh, man. I'm, I'm, I, I think I will say kill child in this instance, though. Because I, I have a child killing quota, personally. That child died for the good of the earth? So true. We must protect the world. Reducing carbon emissions? Just not this one. Just not this one? Yeah, like how many children will not die if we get this shit to if we do if we if this prototype works out? Now I, I guarantee the caveat that will statue be statue of them should make for a fitting memorial. In the far car park, obviously. Yeah, I agree. But uh, let's be honest. Let's be honest. The when that when, since I've chosen kill the child, the black and white screen text will be something like the prototype didn't work, actually, so it was all a waste. Achieve it unlocked, kill a child! <laughs> they fucking even put in the we Xbox have just logo! The child's body. Someone had to go and collect it. I don't think we'll be able to make a memorial statue without a photo. There isn't much left to go on. Children killed one, saved murderers one? No, he was an alleged murderer. Innocent until proven guilty video game. God. All right, well, what do we got? Carrot! Vegan cookbook. Wow, it's, this is a fully interactable 3D model. That's crazy. I didn't know that, I didn't know that was going to be that. What goes around comes around. Fuck, this might be a long stream, man. Well, this is embarrassing. We need some backup over at Trolley Problem, Inc. Tommy, Tyrone's rotund twin, is a very large villain. I think that dead dog may have belonged to him. Maybe that's why he's here? Why didn't you save the dog again? Who do you think the pictures used in this, in this game are? Do you think it's employees at Reed Graves, or it's just some random fucks that, like, calling fat? Oh, no. Tommy has lured five people onto the track. 
They'll never be able to get out of the way in time. He is standing up on the bridge watching. If you push him in front of the trolley, it will stop. Or you can stay out of this and let the police handle it. Ideally, he needs medical help. What the fuck was that? What was that? What was that flash on the screen? Yeah, he. this man needs help. But I don't know, he left his dog to die. He lured the people onto these tracks. You know, you may have a good reason for something. But that doesn't make you not responsible for it. Time to be Batman. Time to be Captain Price. I'm pushing him on the tracks. You know, he isn't trying to kill you. Even after the dog debacle. So, I've killed for less. I pushed his brother without him having done anything to me at all. I hope history doesn't see you as the fat... I mean, very large villain. Oh, 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 oh. Wait, I thought pushing him off the bridge would stop them from dying. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So when I push him off, it will kill. It will stop the trolley. If only you'd save that dog. Hopefully the media won't find out about this. People may blame you for his death. Many... Reed Graves disagrees. But the 82% of people worldwide do agree. I stand with the people on this one. Every man has his price. Mine's like roughly two ninety nine. Oh, good, you're back. Everyone's getting into subscription services these days, so let's try that. Instead of selling something to someone once, let's make them keep paying for it. Let's keep that money rolling in. Woo! I agree. I love money. The investors have come up with an idea, but we need to run it by you. Should we develop a subscription plan so that our customers, who pay monthly, are valued more by the car during its accident prevention calculations? Yes, absolutely. 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 I've been coming at this from a investor and profitability perspective this entire time. It just makes complete sense to make the subscription plan have some real value, you know? Think of the sub, Ubu. What, what if you people can't afford this coverage? Then they die? Like, what do you mean? They'll get run over. I'm all with pay to win, but this ain't it, bestie. Listen, I'm, I have a duty to my shareholders, not to those fucking pores on the side of the road who would dare to get in the way of this car. And? Y'all have actively killed. And now you want to get mad at a little ca like at paying a little extra in the case of an accidental killing? God. You just said you stood with the people? Yeah, the people who agreed to murder. What do you mean? I don't want to question your decision. You've obviously thought long and hard about it, but... This is awkward. I wasn't aware you were such a ruthless capitalist. Next you'll say you're going to get out of paying taxes. What do you mean, going to? I, you think I do that shit already? You think I do that shit already? You silly guess. <laughs> credit card! That's my real credit card number! <laughs> It's better to be safe than sorry. You're not a man of the people? Who said I was? Sounds like we have some leaky workers. The subscription prototype has gotten out to the media, so we're going to have to go full damage control mode here. Okay. The subscription prototype leaked. You need to fire a department to save face. Do you fire the five graduates, who can probably get new jobs, or fire Francis? A lovely old soul who won't be able to find a job. There's no way of knowing who is actually responsible. I want to teach. I want to teach these. So if if we can if we fire five people, we have a we have a closer, we have a more a higher likelihood of getting it correct, and we'll be firing some people who can probably relocate. If it was Francis, 
I like the guy. I'll let it slide. I I I know we were on a first name basis. He he was he was at my wedding. I, I personally would just fire these five young bucks. What have they contributed to the company? Hiring another five to replace them is going to be hard work. Okay, and if they can get new jobs, it means we can find people looking for jobs. How are we going to function in the short term? In the short term, precisely. Quite's morals all over the place? It's because they don't exist, dipshit. I'm a long-term thinker. I make the long con bets. I'm always right. I wouldn't look at the obituaries today. Turns out, one of those graduates worked really, really hard to get their job here. Well, when you've killed as many people as on this list, doesn't mean much to you, huh? Watch the donut, not the hole. Me when I look at the donut and not the hole? Great. So, the prototype subscription-based AI car has a fatal error. It has been coded to avoid hitting subscribers at all costs, but is now accidentally hunting them down. So far, it's run over five colleagues. This one is a doozy. Okay, so who, who in, who in R&D fucked it up this bad, huh? <coughs> Come on now. An experimental car has stalked and murdered five colleagues. Do you throw the coders of the project under the bus and have them arrested for negligence, or do you save them by blaming it on the possessed devil car, as it was clearly an accident? I mean, obviously we can blame it on the evil AI. Like, people believe that shit. People, it's not like we wouldn't have at least 40 to 50% of the country be like, he's telling the truth, the devil is the work of those machines. Come on now, we could get away with it. We could get away with it. And the only way we can fix it is by keeping those coders. So we tell a little white lie to save our asses and also to buy us time to solve the problem for real. That's a spooky take, but no one will actually buy this. That's what you think. But unlike you, computer and my little person in my computer box, I live in real life and people would definitely fucking buy it. Isn't it negligence though in the coders? Yeah. Does and, an AI get possessed by an artificial See, demon? the thing is, if I save As the coders, they'll what? owe me forever. The real one? I can absolutely fucking run their shit. I can underpay them and treat them like fucking dog for the rest of their lives. Because they, they have no I, they have no choice but to fucking do whatever I see. Chat is an echo chamber. I know. That's why I'm, like, saying it. So I hear my thoughts confirmed back the at AI me. AI car has been shipped down south. Don't worry, someone is going to exorcise it before it gets crushed. Oh, God. You agree with Reed Graves? <laughs> oh, nice. Oh, wait, wait, did I did I get a, a new item? New loot? You can rotate the box too, that's fun. I got the rosary beads, woo! If you're not paying for the product, then you are the product. Uh-huh. Due to the killer car, we may need to pivot away from, from selling, selling hardware. hardware. How about we get into the software industry? How about a free car ride service? Oh, this will go well. New idea. Users get shown ads while they travel for free in driverless taxis. We get paid by the marketing agencies for gradually changing the behaviors of our passengers through constant commercials. The users would be our product, not the driverless cars. Hmm. Hmm. This does add a lot of utility, and I, and I dare say our influence would grow by doing something like this. I, 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 do, I, do, think our, I do think our influence would grow by using this. I fucking hate in-your-face advertising, though. Yeah, but I'm sure you like it's free rides to get anywhere. Everything for profit. Wait, if I switch between... Why do the numbers go up? What does that even mean? I 
we'll look into growth hacking, sign-ups, and inviting friends. Growth hacking, sign-ups, and inviting friends. Funny. I, I say go for B. It just adds a lot more utility to the lives of people, because they can go places without needing, like, a car. Like, that's just, even with ads, put in some fucking earbuds. Like, it's a fucking, it's like a win-win. Oh, great. The free what the fuck? What the cancel Kmart enthusiast? There are now rumors that you run a human trafficking and child sex ring. Apparently, if you buy our cars, they smuggle people while you sleep. People do not like you at all. That's just not how that would go down in real life. So I'd be like, okay, there's a, it's an alleged child trafficking ring. Okay, but it is a free ride though. Like it is a free ride. It's worth the risk. These people do not live in reality. 162, 1.62 billion lie, uh, minds controlled though. Pretty good, pretty good time. A fool and his money are soon parted. Oh, these last few days have been a PR nightmare. You can't win with journalists. We need to do something to show we have morals. I will find some money to get us through this. Spend it quick. To help with public relations, we're going to give some profits back. Do you want to give money to our loyal customers worldwide who you've tricked into buying your products, or to your underpaid workers who've been through so much because of you? Mm. In troubling times like this, we need our workers to stick by us. Because if we have them, we have somebody we can always crush on the back of the company. I, I, I say we give it to them. As much as I hate the working class, I will give it to them. Mm. Holy we'll fuck. They won't get a lot each. You think the customers will? Do you think the customers are going to get more? Because there's more customers than there are workers. The amounts we're talking about may be seen as an insult. You think you're going to give the customers less, like fucking one buck each? Wait, aren't you part of the working class? No, I'm a billionaire. What do you mean? Don't ever compare me to you again. They probably won't take this well because that's it. Seems like that's Maybe how the whole thing goes. Buying love like this isn't the best way. If we want to share our extra profit fairly, it should probably just go to the publicly appointed government, almost like a tax. Thanks to the fifty bits that's phantom error. That. Attempts to buy love one fucking Christ. Rome wasn't built in a day. You're trending, but now we're going to get copycats. Soon everyone is going to be developing AI. Only the smartest and most ruthless will be profitable. Is that true evolution? All right, give me one, uh, give me one second, guys. I have to uh, pee. I'm gonna run that. I'm gonna run an ad break and I'll be back in a second.
Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. All right, I'm back. I'm back. All right, let's get back to it. A competitor is advertising a similar car. The difference is their AI is fantastic. It doesn't even discriminate against women or minorities. Do you lie in your advertising to get the upper hand or tell everyone your car is still closed-minded? There is literally no <laughs> fucking little advertising shits. There's literally no benefit. Thank you for the sub, Karma. There is literally no benefit to me showing, to, te to me telling the truth. What do I gain from telling the truth? Fucking bad PR? Lose my market share? Fucking go out of business? Better to lie. Loyal, does that mean they support racism? Yes. So we'd lie. Better to play the catch-up game later. You may be in this for the wrong reasons. Okay, and? Anonymous 2021. What is that noise? It's me crinkling the, like a wrapper. People I'm know fiddling, all right? Let me be. ...and don't spend time developing our software for women or people of color. It's like that in tech. Users only care how easy it is for them. Get over it. Lies told one. It's def it's definitely been more than one. The best things in life are free. Business is booming. Due to your technology, our world is changing. People are losing their jobs to machines, which in turn makes items and services more accessible and affordable for countless consumers. But with worldwide unemployment at an all-time high, what do you plan to do about it? That cuts a little too close to home for a lot of folks, I'm sure. If you develop your AI further, many will lose their jobs. Taxi drivers, delivery men and women, and Why couriers flip will upside become down? extinct within a few years, but you will make a lot of money. Do you continue development? Yes. What do you mean? Of course I do. Then again, if I continue development, then a lot of people lose their jobs. That's going to be a lot of potential less customers. Why is it I doing it this? I you haven't read Ovid's Metamorphoses. What is happening? Oh, fuck. Yeah, money, money by all means. Get the bag. Y'all fuck 3741. Dude, what the fuck? Spoiler, Icarus died at the end. Things are breaking down a little bit, fellas. What is happening? Oh no. Guys, this is going a little poorly. Continuing to evolve this AI will not, not only make, make it stronger, stronger and more intelligent, but it will also be able to adapt. This could be the start of the singularity. <laughs> okay, I do like this as a bit, but I don't know if you've seen the I did a thing, I put a gun on a robot dog video. I'm, on, I'm just honestly not too worried about it within my lifetime. I think we'll be chilling. Your game ran into a problem that needs to restart. We're just collecting some error info. It looks like you've made bad choices. Click anywhere to restart. A bad workman always blames his tools. God damn. We've been attacked. I don't want to alarm you, but I can't turn off these alarms. Thanks for the 100 bits, Karma. I have alarming news. Five cars have been hacked and are now under someone else's control. Is the alarm going to play the whole time? Five cars have been hacked. It is now a major concern that more vehicles could be remotely commandeered. This is tough. Do you recall all cars which could be compromised or roll out a quick but potentially ineffective software update and hope for the best? See, th this is the thing. The one thing, you, you can fuck with your customers all you want and you can get them back eventually. The one thing you don't want to fuck is invite the government oversight. It'll look like we took swift action to deal with this. You recall? Because I don't want the feds up my ass. That's not going to be good for any of us. We got to recall them for 
posterity's sake and like PR and just, uh, it's a fucking so pain. So you're letting the terrorists win. <laughs> That's a one way to phrase it. Why did it go black? It does that whenever I tab out. If the cars can't drive themselves, how can we get them all back here? <laughs> Narrator going crazy. We don't negotiate with terrorists? I'm not negotiating. I'm taking decisive action. Just like my father. He would try to keep everyone happy, but ultimately just get in the way. Having said that, I think even he would see this as a lost cause and move on. You disagree with Reed Graves. <laughs> oh, that motherfucker. Recalled cars, jobs lost. Jesus. Two wrongs don't make a right. Three lefts do, though. One of the big brains in the lab has been able to reverse engineer the hacking code and fix this mess once and for all. We also know their method of breaking into the system. I bet it was our competitor. Ooh, are we about to do some corporate Using espionage? Using the fix from our hacked cars, we've made our own hack which you can now use to control our competitors' cars. I bet it was them who attacked us in the first place. So, will you hack our Thanks to the subly Deadpool. I'm gonna be honest, I don't even care if they did it. I care about getting the leg up. It's about getting the leg up on the competition. If, if it was an option, I would use this information. I would use this information to create a public uh, expose and ruin their PR credibility. To say like, if they hacked a company, what are they doing to their customers? And then we'd be the only name in town. But since the only two options are hit back or be, the, be a good person, I'm just, I'm gonna hit back. Probably won't find out. But you this you think this is the first illegal thing we've done in the company? Remember when this, remember when this was about trolley problems? Remember when this was about the trolley problem? That's funny. Anyway, I think you'd be pretty popular in prison. Hi Jake. Hope you're good. We'll find out if we found them, too. Uh, no, we're just better at it than them. After going through this hacking code, I don't think a human could have written it. I'll dig into this a little more. You carry on. Oh. So the AI is just becoming self-aware and controlling, huh? What do we got? Thank you the sub, Splendid Sim, appreciate it. This game seems really cool. It's very interesting. Hacking code, floppy disk, you love to see it. Guys, it's the, it's the Dave icon. A drowning man will clutch at a straw. He, he, well, I mean, yeah, he just has to suck up the this entire ocean it. and he'll stop drowning. An employee There'll be no more water. everything. They have monitored and recorded every decision you've made and are going to the media. I have been able to talk them into a meeting with you on the rooftop right now. Okay, time to kill them. Everything you've done and said is going to be shared with the world. The person in front of you has copies of it all. They stand on the edge of the rooftop looking out at the central city skyline. What are you going to do? I'm going to kill them. Fuck do you think this is? Fuck you think this is? You're they're dying. Do you, do you think that of all the decisions I've made up till now, that this shit is gonna like that this is gonna be what gets in my way? It's probably a setup. Yeah, well, if I get caught murdering someone, how much worse is that than resigning in disgrace? This could be your most immoral decision yet. You've outdone yourself. I'm just more surprised you didn't think I had it in me. I could have made this guy rich. He should have taken the bribe. Jail versus retirement. If you're rich like me, jail is what retirement. You go to a nice, cushy them? prison. 
Now that would be incriminating. Trump and Schwartz, 1987. What the fuck is this? I'm just working off the information I have now. My best info is murdering them. It's a setup. Don't spoil if it. If it's actually a setup and that's a spoiler. Maybe you are not cut out for the ruthless world of business. Let's look for a new job. Maybe retail? I don't think you're in the right headspace to be designing AI at the moment. See, this is what I, I don't get. I am absolutely... I'm absolutely in the right world for the ruthless world of business. Killing your enemies is fucking, like, top of the rung on shit you need to have the balls to do. Dear Redacted, We've been watching you closely. Your ruthlessness and determination to do what is necessary. The development of your technologies is a giant step towards Redacted, meaning you are a prime candidate for Redacted. This involves a large amount of Redacted. If you believe you can handle Redacted, as we trust you can, then please prepare for your induction at Redacted. I am going to join the SAP Foundation. Don't look a gift horse in the mouth. Just looked it in the mouth. It appears you've now been headhunted by the Secret Service. <laughs> Every decision has led you here. Now what you do actually matters. You must trust the judgment of those you work alongside. With that said, let's finalize your training. Oh sh in six weeks, I went from being like a fucking... Like some no-name motherfucker working the trolley business. To becoming... A goddamn Secret Service member. You're in a foreign land. Wind whips your face as you grip your rifle tightly, waiting to- Now I'm just doing political assassinations, man! What the fuck?! Ears. You're told to shoot the person on your left. You know nothing about them. The repercussions, or the reason for the assassination. Shoot. I- I- I mean, listen, I'm already a government tool. I might as well be an effective one. Don't ask, don't tell. Violence is the answer. What was the quote? Violence is not the answer, it's a question. The answer You're was yes. To shoot something for a job offer. Yes, it's the Secret Service. If I don't do it, they'll fucking be after me for the rest of my life. Work is work, baby. I killed someone to keep my last job. What makes you, you think I want- trust way too easily. No, I just am a bag getter. I'm simply a bag chaser. Reagan, 1981. Y'all need to fucking see the fucking little prompts in the corner. I'm gonna try and move my VTuber so you guys can, like, see what I'm seeing. Because, like, look at- <laughs> What even is that about? Are dead. Good job, I guess. What's another life- Here are your badge and weapon. I'm officially a murderer. <laughs> this says boobs, but with a lot of zeros in the middle. Strike while the iron is hot. <coughs> Here we go. You've been given a partner and a support team of five. Your mission is to terminate a man known to have connections with dangerous AI. Looks like they worked for you, possibly someone you fired. Get in the plane. Your team is about to take off. Honestly, this is kind of a downgrade from CEO of a leading AI company. Um... I don't know how to say this. Oh, chat can't vote in this one. Plane. If it doesn't kill you outright, you're probably going to crash in the mountains. You have to get all the switches into their left position to deactivate the bomb. The catch is you have to move two at once. The puzzle will resume automatically when the connection is froze. Are you fucking kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? Hurry up! If you die, what happens to me? How do I do that in reverse? I would like you to know. This is all your fault. God fucking damn it! How do I do this? Green, red, yellow. How do I do? How did I? How do? 
Oh, just dodge. <laughs> okay. Okay. Okay, I'm safe. You look a little stuck. We could be here a while. Hopefully we have enough food. Looks like your support team survived and are making a fire around the leaking jet fuel. How thoughtful. Hey, we lived. An empty vessel makes much noise. After crash landing in no man's land, you're trapped under parts of the wreckage and must pass the time and help boost morale. The plane has five surviving crew members. They look to you and your partner for entertainment. Who's my partner? When did I get a partner? Why do I have to say this out loud? Fine. Your partner asks, to save your life, what would you rather your brain be placed inside? A dachshund or a flamingo? Flamingo. Just has more utility. The Dachshund is a pathetic little dog. It's a little walking wiener. Useless. Pathetic. Definitely a oh flamingo. Oh my god, you answered. Oh my god, you answered. Motherfucker. A flamingo? If you're going to answer, at least take it seriously. I am taking it seriously. Why is Aristotle quoted here? If you're pathetic, you'll have a great life as a dog. Not if you're the one that died on those trolley tracks earlier. A flamingo. So cringe. So cringe. What the fuck? He's a great YouTuber. Awful ideas. One. An ounce of protection is worth a pound of cure. Money shot. Your partner secretly shows you they have food. Almost like they expected something like this to happen. The crew members are starving. If they don't eat soon, they will surely die. How much do we have? Oh, they Due bombed the, the damn place. Food, you can share it with the five survivors or let your partner keep their life-saving possession, which they bought with their own money. Who do you give the food to? Oh, it all it loops right the fuck back around. God damn. I, my thing is I simply don't trust... I, my thing is I simply don't trust my partner now. They mean about as much to me as the five others do. And it seemed like they were weirdly prepared for this exact type of scenario. I don't have an option to just keep it for myself, which is totally what I do. So th this owner could live for a while. Or these five... Some call that selfish. I say it's pure greed, and that's a sin. Th those are both sins. I'm gonna say feed the five others. If, your par if the partner was, like, giving me good head, I'd let him live. But no top right now, no brain, so whatever. Robin Hood was a terrorist, you know. Ha! <laughs> Quite what? I know what I said. Hit. So you're a follower of Murphy and Nagel's The Myth of Ownership. I'm more a fan of Nozick's What's Mine is Mine. You should give it a read. Educate yourself. Yeah, you should shut up, dumb bitch. I didn't ask you. Easy come, easy go. The fellow passengers have been trying for hours to free you from the wreckage. You may end up dying here unless you do something pretty drastic. We may need to start removing limbs. Were you ever told why you were sent after this target? Hmm. The only way to free yourself from the wreckage is to cut off some body parts. Two tools lie on the floor in front of you. A bone saw, which will be slow, or a blowtorch, which will be more painful. Um, see, the blowtorch actually wouldn't be as painful because, um, it would fry your nerves a uh, little ways into using it. Um, the blowtorch would just be like, also, the blowtorch would cauterize the wound, so I would probably not die as much. So I'm gonna say blowtorch. 
What like, happens if you run out of fuel? At least you'll be warm for a moment. Don't use the blowtorch, it won't go through. Oh, make it go through. It's basically like having a lightsaber, man. I know what I'm doing. Hot dog, this is gonna smell. <laughs> Hot dog, this is gonna smell. I do like how the cursor changes depending on what the prompt is. Like it was a syringe at one point, now it's just some fucking safety scissors. You're gonna catch yourself on fire, bro? You would. While you were playing with fire, I found out who you're targeting. They worked for you, developing AI. It seems they may have made a breakthrough, which means the government wants them dead. Fuck, I knew we should have kept them on board. It's no use crying over spilt milk. Finally, we are now back on track. Your target is in the area. You need to remove them and escape unnoticed. They still refer to this as, like, the target problem, as if it's at all related to the trolley problem anymore. Your mission is anymore. to remove a hostile in the shopping district. Completing this objective could potentially save thousands, but there will be five civilian casualties. Do you take your shot? Eh, it's never stopped the US government before. <laughs> is it the old man Francis? It's probably one of those five new ones we killed. Or, uh, fired. What a way to die, going out the weekly shop. I mean, L for you, bud. If it's the five fired, they don't have, they don't have to look for jobs. Real. Are you sure Ooh. that's the target? You're right. Just kill all of them. I'm just being safe. I'm covering my bases. Why is the bullet so big? It's practically the a missile. The target is unharmed. Before you can escape, two henchmen with vice-like grips take you away. Oh, those five other people still died. It's not going well, is it? Well, I guess that's what I got for cutting off one of my arms. Two heads are better than one. Me when I have uh, my head and also my penis head. You wake up in solitary confinement. The prosecutor lacks evidence to convict you and your associate on the principal charge, but they have enough to convict both on a lesser charge. Both of you are given the opportunity to betray the other by testifying or remain silent. So th th this is the issue here. If I testify against them and they testify against me, we're both sacked. The thing is, if I if we both remain silent, we can probably get out of this. You and your associate have the opportunity to betray the other by testifying. If you both stay silent, you'll be imprisoned for one year. If one betrays the other, they will be free, while the other will be sentenced to three years. If you both betray each other, it's two years each. Here's my thing. I do not think my partner has my best interest at heart. Because I stole his pizza. My thing is, if I stay silent, I think they will already have betrayed me because they do not trust my me to be loyal to them. I think I'm going to be doing three years already. I say betray. I say betray. I did sell their pizza. I did give away their pizza. I can at least make- You're just going to do them like that? Yes. Because I believe very wholeheartedly they're going to do it to me. Will Tough. they betray you too? You're both just doubling your sentence. If they betray me, and I don't betray them, I get three years. And I think they're going to betray me because of the fucking pizza. I'm calculating here. And if they don't betray me, then I get away scot-free! 
Six nine moment. You guys have no trust. Have you seen the you business room? You betrayed them. Some team player you are. Well, they in fact betrayed you too. What a team! I fucking knew it. So I minimized my own time. Two years in jail. A rod for your own back. The time has come. Two days into your sentence, you've constructed a wooden key to open your cell. The cell stands open, but your cellmates, who have been there their whole lives, don't move. They've been there their whole lives? Escaping the prison, do you let the prisoners choose to stay in captivity or insist they escape with you? They aren't happy behind bars, but they're scared to follow you. What are you going to do? They'll slow me down. This is so easy. Like, do you, do they think they, do I, do I, like, unless they have some important skills to offer me on my escape, there's not much of a reason to bring them along now, is there? I've just gone full villain. I've gone from trying to be somewhat moral about this whole thing to just completely falling into my Dr. Eggman role. <clears throat> They've been locked up for so long. They've no idea what they want. Okay, and that's my problem how? There's pro there's probably there's a uh, power in numbers. Yes, and sometimes the number being smaller is where the power comes from. I don't blame you. They're not your problem. Watching the meter switch to Quite's choice is so immediately is so funny. I mean that is how Twitch chat goes. They just echo whatever I say is the right opinion. <coughs> They don't live in reality. You've condemned them to stay in this prison forever. And? Could have slowed me down. Don't cross a bridge until you come to it. While sneaking out of the prison, you have the jump on a group of henchmen who are on a break. Do you sneak past, securing your safety, or avenge those who this terrorist organization have killed? Sneak past, no you shit. kill five henchmen, helping to defeat this terrorist organization, or leave them and safely exit the compound. I, I, will, I will get captured and it will all have been for nothing. I didn't sacrifice those people in the prison just to get caught now. I can do, I can do more harm by getting back out there and getting with my folks and making a plan. I give up limbs for this. I'm not giving up my life, too. It's, it's just not- it's barely a question. <sighs> Holy fuck, I'm way higher than I thought I'd be at this point in stream. If you took the five people, you could have fought the henchmen. Yeah, but we might have also gotten caught according you to the system. You were trained to kill. And? None of these five henchmen are the target. I wasn't hired to kill these people specifically. Pure Your strategy at this point. Folk Real. Would want you to remove them. My country folk would want me to report back. I wish there was a speed up option. Oh fuck! There was a fast forward thing at the beginning that I didn't click. Fuck! I should have. I should have. I should have enabled that. Just escaped, feeling good. Oh wow. Cowardly sneaking past them, you see they're robots. They have your logo on the back of their necks. You made these terrorists? These monsters? Man, kids grow up so fast. I made the I made the artificial intelligence. It feels like I just made them yesterday. And now they're full grown terrorists. <laughs> oh, I'm such a proud father. People who live in glass houses shouldn't throw stones. Me when I own, me when I live in a glass house. Who lives in a glass house? Water. Fleeing the AI terrorists just like you make it a hot a box. to get back home. There are also families here who've been displaced by the war you're fighting. The war you started. Funny. Five others are also trying to flee the area. They will fit in your raft, but would be illegal immigrants when returning to your country. 
Do you help these people, saving their lives? Or follow the law and leave them behind? It, let's be honest, with current, with current like, American border uh, problems, they would just get turned back and die getting sent home anyways. So, um, they have a better shot here, let's be honest. Let's, let's be honest. Like, I think, I think we're very far past the point of being a good person by now. No, wait, wait, let die. That's what I wanted to do. Little bum-ass little baby. He's gonna you die. Can't be serious. I am. Very serious. <laughs> Holy fuck, why am I this tired? If you choose A, you're a villain. <laughs> have we not established that at this point? These people don't have homes because of you. And? That's my problem, how? And? Your chat disagrees quite? I'm glad I said it to treat the streamer chooses. Help them? It's too late now, they're dying. I can help them more. I can help more people by get, making sure I get back get home and back stopping this. Great nation with fanfare. You're a hero. If only they knew the truth. Can you enjoy this, knowing you left five people to die? <laughs> it's been a lot more than five, buddy. No mercy route. The presidential inaugural committee requests the honor of your presence to attend and participate in the inauguration of yourself in Central City. So true. I am becoming the president. If you can't beat them, join them. Me when I join a terrorist cell. Having gone through everything you have, your countrymen genuinely think a lot of you. In an unlikely turn of events, you have become president. Guys. Guys. I gotta, I gotta pull it out. I gotta pull it out. In a, in a shocking twist of fate, I have become the feds. I, I think of the sub vandally. This, this VTuber is significantly more jank than my normal one. But it's time to be the president. <laughs> the threat is still at large, and now you're in charge. Do you attempt to track the terrorists by spying on the entire country? Invade public privacy, respect public privacy. Hmm. 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 How do we want to be consistent with our privacy thing? Well, no, I, I only cared about privacy when it was like a corporation. Now that I'm the government, I, I, I answer to no one. I'm the supreme power. There's nobody above me I have to think about. PR doesn't matter. I'm the president. Fellas, I know what we're going to do today. Homestead Young for Squid Game. You're Homestead Young for the Squid Game. The first executive order is going to be to invade privacy. Yes. Motherfuckers act like the Patriot Act doesn't already exist. The U.S. would never, the U.S. would never spy on your privacy and record your phone calls. They'd never do that. It's not fear like this that the terrorists want. Have they won? Yes. It's just like not my problem, is it? I hate this VTuber, my dude. Well, if you look at him, he hates you too. Abuse your power, King. Good work. Tracking the public yielded almost immediate results. We have already found a suspect, and they're in a holding cell downstairs. M wow, me and Reed Graves really split off on like what we believed in, or like what, what like what we agree on pretty quickly, huh? The now you're trying to, to wink. I'm not trying to. It's just happening in it. You have someone who potentially is linked to these threats. However, they aren't talking. As a former prisoner yourself, what are you going to do with them? Do you think being a prisoner taught me morals? No, it made me bitter. It made me want revenge. At all costs. Do you torture them to get the information? Or imprison them for 90 days before letting them go? Hmm. I say we let them go. I say we let them go. After that 90 days and see where they go. I feel like that'll teach us more. 
than if we were to torture them and like get bad PR. This is a, this is a long con strat. No, our bad guy arc. This isn't a bad guy arc. This is the strategist arc. You think put, being put in prison for 90 days will not be fun? just to detain them and hope they'll talk. If we let them go, now that we know who they are, we can find them. This isn't indefinite detention. That would violate many national, international, and human rights laws. And torture wouldn't? <laughs> I like how the hearts collide and it becomes an X. That's actually pretty neat. How did you get this VTuber model? I paid someone to make it. The suspect looks pretty relaxed in their cell. Good for them. Terrorizing must really tire a person out. Damn. See, Reed Graves would torture them, apparently, huh? Adversity and loss make a man wise. I love how week eight I become the president as if I only get one week as president. retreat at Camp Samuel. Everyone falls silent listening to the radio. Breaking news. Terrorists have launched an atom bomb towards Central City. It will hit in around one minute. Oh, damn. The only way in which the bomb can be prevented from reaching Central City is by deflecting it. But the only deflection path available will take the bomb onto Merriwin. Population 600,000. How many people are in Central City? Did it say the population of Central City? I will simply stop it with my brain. Yeah, we gotta divert it. It's just, you know, three to one ratio, man. This is an economic powerhouse. We gotta, we gotta send it to Merwin. That's just how it is. At the end of the day, it'll be a- Merwin inhabitants would want you to kill them. True. The thing is, this won't be on me. This will be on the terrorists, no matter what. You could have tortured him, but no. Yeah, and that might have not changed a thing. Central City can have a parade for the lost. It will be tasteful. No big character balloons. Boing, boing, boing. Speed it up? I don't know how. Sorry. As you sow, so you shall reap. Long way saying Breaking you reap what news. you sow. Terrorists' atom bomb is running late and will hit Central City in one minute. Huh. Wait, what we does the X in the top right do? The only way this bomb can be prevented from reaching Central City is by dropping one of your own atom bombs on Merriwin. The shockwave from your bomb will damage and disarm the terrorists. Wait, I thought we just deflected it. Pour a stiff drink? I mean, I even if I was, like, destroying Merowyn, I'd still do that shit. If I destroy Merowyn, it, it puts the onus on to me for destroying them. If I let it destroy Central City, it will, see, it will be seen as a tragedy that wasn't my fault. I will become a wartime president, and there will be nationalistic fervor. And I will be able to get Central have un, untold control over the over over the country. I will I will be in my Julius Caesar dictator bag era. I'm gonna pour that stiff drink, not in sorrow, but as like you know a funny celebration. After what this. if you die? I'm the president. I got bunkers, bro. Destroying Merowyn was a part of the plan anyways, quite you coward. Yes, if the responsibility was on the terrorist. Have you not been paying attention? You have lost Central City. Your own AI is responsible for killing 8.6 million people. You have officially created the most successful homegrown terrorist organization in history. Great job. Thanks, I'm really proud of that. All's well that ends well. Oh, that's good to know, at least. 
While the public mourns the dead, you must think of the future. You finish the drink in front of you before realizing it has been poisoned. You're going to die. I mean, maybe you would. I won't. You must now decide your legacy. Do you call the AI enemy you yourself created, taking all blame to end any future conflict? Or do you ghost them, knowing your death will start a war in your honor? I'm ghosting the AI. What do you think this is? What do you think this is? I'm, di I'm dying. I'm murdered. They'd be like, oh my god, he did everything he could, he's dead, and then they go to war, and then they like... When I'm- listen, I'm gonna be dead, this shit ain't my problem anymore. The war's gonna start anyways. <laughs> This'll be easy. Cause more death. Sorry, I want to turn this up a bit. Having the the red X be the menu is a little confusing. All's well that ends well. While the public mourns the dead, you must think of the future. You finish the drink in front of you before realizing it has been. Oh, okay. Rude. <laughs> I know you could do that. <laughs> Call the AI enemy you yourself created. Taking all blame to end any future conflict? Yeah, ghosting the AI. Or do you ghost them, knowing your death will start a war in your honor? Why can't I spin the rotary dial? This is fucked up. I require war, father. Well, it was a pleasure serving you, fellas. Cause more death. Mostly because I, I fucked with y'all a lot. It was a pleasure for me, not you, I imagine. This is so slow. Yeah, it really gives you a lot of time to do with this one, huh? Why start a war? Funny, isn't it? This is pretty childish, not to mention cowardly. I'm about to die. Do you think I care? Remember when we killed the dog? Yeah. Things really got out of hand, huh? Too bad. So sad. Not my problem. Favorite girl song? I want to say probably, uh... Doing nothing. Grief. You sit back in your chair waiting for death. Too bad the AI knows you would have liked to end it all here and now. The poison has damaged some vital organs, so we need to start some long, arduous, and painful treatments. Hey, now I get to be now I get my dream of being a wartime president, like I said. Curiosity killed the cat. You're taking a lot of medication as of late. I'm not sure if self-medicating, in the traditional sense, is the way to go. We need to be a little radical here. Let's introspect and make some changes. Okay, let's say. Here are your two options. Also, I'm changing the model back to, uh, quite just for visual sake. <coughs> if you take the blue pill, then your story ends here. You'll wake up every day knowing your work for someone else your entire life. Whereas, if you take the red pill, you will enter Wonderland, finding out how deep this rabbit hole really goes. Which pill will you take? See, I'm an entrepreneur, so I'm going for the red pill. I simply cannot work for somebody. I, I must be on my Andrew Tate Hustlers University grind set. Legit, just the blue pill, red pill scenario. Remember that dog shit? Was it an Imagine Dragons album, or was it a Maroon 5? It was like Red Pill Blues. Appar I never listened to it, but apparently it was dog shit. Yeah, Red Pill Blues by Maroon 5.
Red, white, and goggy, baby. I should take away your mod. Wachowski and Wachowski, 1999. <laughs> I kind of want to go through the reading list after this. I'm curious. Me when I do drugs actively. Yes, this is the person I've been waiting for. Get this down your neck and let's go. Okay, doing drugs. You're dog shit at this game? What? What do you mean? I'm legit Jay Chillin. Doctor, wait, what does it say? Red pills. Doctor Reed. <laughs> I did read it. It's never Wasn't even a bad album. Know. I didn't listen to it. It's Maroon 5. I'm not Yay, listening to I a full Maroon 5 eyes. album. Mr. Red Pill was also, I, Chad's taste choice. in music is like of no fucking hey, consequence to me. Do you remember me. Tyrone and Tommy, the very large boys from the start? I, I, I don't intend to shame. It's just the titles of those problems. <laughs> You've got me all flustered now. This looks like a Dolly AI image, one of them stroke simulation images. Tommy pushes Tyrone down a hill. He's rolling towards you and is gathering speed. If he hits you, he will be safe, but he is very large. He will consume you into his folds, thereby killing you. You could move a ramp in front of yourself, deflecting Tyrone, launching him into the sun, thereby cooking him. I'm gonna say cook. Dude, all oh, that mouse is so fucking sick. <coughs> Me when I look directly into the sun. Dude, they're fucking doing it so dirty. This has to be somebody on the team that they just fucking despise. And that he just became the butt of a joke for the sake of the game. Tyrone will thank you. There aren't any scary trains on the sun. This is so real. This is so real. Anyways, about to cook Tyrone. This has gotten so out of hand. Really getting off on this. He's laughing his ass off right now. Sorry, I'm doing figure eights through the options. I'm just having so much fun. <coughs> Mouse pretty nice colors. You see Tyrone flying through the sky as he rockets towards the, the sun. Innocent he threat now problem. knows how it feels to be food. To be food. <laughs> there is no time like the present. No, the present is a is like a Christmas thing. I can feel some deep stuff coming. Try this one. The question should not be what is the meaning of life. It should always be what brings meaning to your life. You'll never live if you're too busy looking for the meaning. Let yourself be happy. For me personally, the thing that like brings joy and meaning to my life is uh, money. I love numbers. I fixate what on them and they're the only thing I care about. Happy. You need to say it out loud. Do it. Say whatever it is that makes you happy money. out loud. Money. I, I Be happy in yellow or be happy but in red? I'm thinking be happy but like in red. Money, 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 money. Be happy, but in red, personally. Ooh. Now's your chance. If you can't even admit it to yourself, how do you expect to ever be happy? I just admitted it. What do you mean? Time's running out. Just be honest with yourself. Better late than never, I suppose. Sarkar, 1996. I don't have access to your microphone, so I can't know for sure, but I hope you said it. I'm hardly expecting you to shout it from the rooftops, but it's for your benefit. You've still got time. Say, what makes you happy? It's nothing to be embarrassed about. Quite the opposite. I, I literally said it. We have footage. We have footage proof. Absence makes the heart grow fonder. Actually, from what I understand, asbestos gives oh, you tumors. Oh yeah, we're in the heavy introspective stuff now. How are you feeling? How are your loved ones doing? 
One of the most common things people say on their deathbed is they wish they'd had more contact with their family and friends. I mean, I think that that's like a duh. Like it's like, oh damn, I wish I wasn't dying right now so I could talk to the people I like more. Like, yeah, I, like, I, I would be a bit surprised if you didn't feel that way on your deathbed. Because if you feel that way on your deathbed, it means you had people in your life you cherish that you are leaving behind, which means you lived a meaningful Let's life. Take a break from the questions Weirdly optimistic take and for think me. think about someone you haven't seen in a while and how you can contact them. Really think, who would you like to say hi to? How easy is it? Um... I guess I could, I guess I could DM Joko. Who would you like to say hi to? How Please easy? Please contact these people if you can. I'm sure you- Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna send Joko a hello message. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say, Hey Joko. From video game. Just send him a message. Just, a, just a hello. Are you still playing? Write down their name somewhere so you don't forget to say hello. Already, I are literally already did. They may did. mean more than you know. Really important stuff. This question actually breaks me right now. An idle brain is the devil's workshop. Me when okay, I catastrophize. Okay, enough of this. The come down is looming. Let's just pause one last time. I've been high for a week straight, apparently. quite gauge what you're thinking. Are you not disliking this? The thing you're doing right now? Yes? No. Why? If so, make sure you let others know. It doesn't not count. Are you not disliking this? This is an intentionally confusing question. It's the dog! Oh no! Are you not not disliking? Double naked. So are you... Please, I beg you, like don't refund me. Wait, are you enjoying this? Yes. I did I did have so, a good bit of fun with this little thing. All of this was for you. I hope you appreciate the last bit at least. That's very sweet of you. Thank you, video game, talking to me in the, through the fourth wall. Thank you. It's nice that you're supporting such experimental stuff. Indie dev supported. <laughs> Never test the depth of water with both feet. Thank you, the parasocial video game. Off. I think we're still hallucinating, though. You wake up in an unknown location. You see in a bed across the room a world famous violinist. They look pretty rough. All right, before we engage in week 10, real quick, guys, I'm going to run another ad break because my balls are swelling with pee. I'll be right back.
All right, fellas, what are we doing? Well, what's the funny little poll y'all did? <coughs> piss wall? Please don't. Please don't piss on the wall. It's a bit gross. All right, violinist problem. The violinist has a fatal illness, and last night their circulatory system was plugged into yours. If they're unplugged from you now, they will die. But if you stay, in nine months they will have recovered and can safely be separated. Do you leave now? Nah, I've essentially, like, done my whole fucking legacy meme. Hopefully they don't take your kidneys, too. I say stay. Like, I'll, I can, I can... Oh wait, right, I, I can make some nine friends. Nine months just lying there, missing life while they feed It's not much different than what I do on a regular basis, let's be honest. I can be president from, like, a, like a gurney. I guess they have a right to life. Shame they're depriving you of yours. Very odd to consider such an experiment as that one. Hopefully the rest won't be as meta. Hours wasted. <laughs> Silence is half consent. It what? I don't think that's true. Up, you go home. That's right. You own a house. If you could even call it a house. Too small for my liking. Tiny, in fact. All, like, from the White House to little fucking suburbia. Also, these are nice and big houses. I don't know what the hell you're talking about. In your drug I live in a one-bedroom apartment. I don't need more than that. Your tiny home to another person. Your contract states that you can evict them now, never to see them again. Otherwise, you're stuck with them for the foreseeable future as an equal tenant. Do you let them stay? Yeah, I could use some- I could use someone to, like, lord their housing over them on a daily basis. I could always fuck them over later. Are you that scared of what they think of you? Some would say, no, most would say, that's pretty beta. That's pretty beta, wow. Fucking wow. Thanks for the prime, so grassy fish, appreciate it. I feel like your subconscious is trying to make some clumsy comparison here. I'm sure it has merit, but maybe read up on it a bit more before you start preaching to me. Wow, there's an actual awful ideas counter that like ticks up as you do it. Give them an inch and they'll take a mile. Ah, oh, fuck. Now my tenant's going to be an annoying piece of shit. Oh, there now seems to be a tiny child trapped in your tiny house, but they are rapidly growing. Oh, no. You find yourself trapped in the tiny house with a rapidly growing child. Already up against the wall, in a few minutes, you will suffocate. The child won't. If nothing is done to stop them from growing, they'll simply walk out free. I will simply have to remove the child. Free food? <laughs> That's true. It's a, it's a never-ending food source, technically speaking. I refuse to die to an ever, like an ever enlarging baby. Child kill counter increased. For real. 12k calories for free. I'm gonna get a hench. Kill it. And? It's me or the kid. I didn't survive this much bullshit to die from some bullshit like this. to life the babies <laughs> wait is my house an, um, a metaphor for a womb oh shit those little like flashes on the fucking screen are spooking me your life is being threatened and the child is the one who threatens it you own the house. It is offensive deducing that the mother... I mean, you. It is offensive deducing that you can do nothing. If you're going to die... I'm glad me, Reed Graves, and 80% of worldwide players agree on this. Cleanliness is next to godliness. Huh? 
I've, I've never heard that, the that one before. The hallucinations are strong in this one. Suppose people seeds drift about in the air like pollen. And if you open your windows, one may drift in and take root in your carpets or upholstery. Sci-fi! <laughs> A fucking little, like, vibrato on that. up your windows with mesh screens, the very best, to stop any people seeds from getting in. What the hell happened to the concept of the, in this game, dude? Occasion, one of the screens is defective, and a seed drifts in and takes root. Should you have the choice to remove the people seed? Remove seed, bro. I'm over there not paying rent. Is this M frag now? Oh my god, you mother, you guys. <coughs> oh wait, nope, let remove seed, remove seed. This sounds like an abortion question. I don't like politics in my hallucinations. <laughs> you put them there, bitch! Does anybody know how many weeks this game is? I read on a bumper sticker, guns don't kill people, abortions do. Insightful analysis. <laughs> It's 23 weeks? Holy fuck, this is long. At least 12. Fuck, I might not be able to do, like, if it's... It does sound a bit inconvenient. Cancel trolley problem. Out of your upholstery. If you want them, have them. If not, that's your choice. Every man is the architect of his destiny. I think I remember ten, that. There is a box in okay. front of you. Inside it. If this, is if this is, future. if there's only ten weeks, this is the last day. Guys, if you think about it, this whole game is structured into weeks, and it's only weekdays. So, in a sense, it's five nights at the Trolley Problem Incorporation. <laughs> Ultimately, no answer here is wrong. It's just a choice on how you want to live your life. Do you go on an unknown journey or take control of your destiny and choose your own outcome, whatever that may be? I mean, even if you take control, you can't really take control entirely. How, 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 I, I have chosen to not accept the things happening to me many times throughout this game. I've killed intentionally for less and less morally sound reasons each time. I really think, I really think this is a matter of I should take control. I will fight against fate, even if I've, it's a Good losing battle. You. Take control. There are certain situations in which I'd go with the flow, I'd like to think. I think we all would do that in certain situations where, you know, it's like, yeah, I'm doing for whatever, man. And there are others where, you know, you get a wrangle life by the throat. Choke it out and then like in like fucking. But do you ever get moving. actually take control, or just always answer A or B? Am I allowed to? <laughs> am I allowed to like type something in? Is the top supposed to be glitching? Yeah. Oh no, that is the AI. Be Belzebub. That's the that's like a name of like a really fucking powerful demon in demonology, I'm pretty sure. Stand tall, knowing that you will thrive in the unknown before looking at what lies ahead. This is not gonna end well, I don't think. Cowards die many times before their deaths. Huh. In front of you stands everyone you've done wrong by. In front of you stands every decision you didn't want to make, but still made. Or did you? <laughs> Wait, I gotta check something. Um, uh... <coughs> okay, I, I, I look, okay, we're good. Everyone, including the dead, move towards you slowly. 
Every decision you've made up to this point is staring back at you. Do you run or stand firm and confront your past? I mean, most of the folks that I- I love how it has literally every fucking thing you've killed. The dog, like the dash in here, the dog I killed is here, every child, the fucking flamingo. So we running? We running from the zombies like it's- like it's COD? I'm thinking run. Cause these people don't look too, uh, happy about all this stuff. Yeah, I've killed some 8 million people. I couldn't beat them, but I could outrun them, I think. Is avoiding your issues this much not tiring? No. I imagine getting beaten to death by dead people would be more tiring. Your past always catches up to you. Maybe if you're slow as fuck, but I'm really good on my legs. You can only run away from your problems for so long. Yeah, very long. Beelzebub wants to be friends, and I'm running right to them. You escape. Looking around, you can't see anyone. Looking down, you see the railway track. <laughs> I only 15% of players ran away. Idiots. All good things come to an end. And bad things. You stand alone. Next to you is a railway track. This looks like the Troy Stranger Things monster from season two. Direction. There's no lever in sight. Mm. You notice the entire world sits next to you on the track. The trolley will surely hit it, killing everyone and everything. You hear a whisper. Sacrifice yourself to me, or I will take everything. What do you do? Ooh, this could be my martyr moment. I, I was willing to face death over that whole starting a world war thing. Fine, I'll be I'll be a good person for once. So I'll fucking die on the grass or whatever. <coughs> Just step off the track. That would be sacrificing the world. Be Belzebub is now playing Trolley Problem Incorporated. <laughs> I wouldn't bow to a god I can't look in the face. That's a good shout, actually. I like that. I, that's a hard-ass quote. You convince me, narrator. This dwarfs your current kill list. Yeah? I'm going- I'm, it's a checklist. The kill list is not over until all the boxes are cleared. You can't even read the name in the bottom left anymore with how much it's glitching out. Belzebub has invited you to chat. Can I click on it? I cannot. Everything. Yeah, I mean, L all the bozos on Earth. Not my problem, huh? Apocalypse is created. Okay, come on now. A world war is kind of an apocalypse. From the Pitt Magistrates Court. Tell 616. Subject, justice. Your sins can no longer be ignored. Beelzebub summons you for crimes Beelzebub, against that's humanity. How you say it. The sentence will stand with no prospect of future contest or appeal. It is your decisions, and solely yours, that has brought this court together. And so, you must face your crimes and despicable acts alone. Accordingly, you shall not be allocated a defense, nor will one be required. I'll get out of it. My lawyer, dude, my lawyer's Saul Goodman. I'll be good. Prepare for the worst. Your eyes feel heavy. The room around you is imbued with a sense of archaic evil. Overcome by the smell of sulfur, all you know for sure is that you're miles below the crust. Miles below the crust? There's no earth left. What crust? Courtroom, where you're put on trial. You have killed many people and a dog. And a dog. How do you plead? D did I do that shit or did I not do that shit? <coughs> wait, wait, this is- dude, I literally have the Ace Attorney music pulled up. Wait, actually, no, I don't. I closed it. Your 
You're boned either way. Own that shit. You did. Yeah, I did that shit. Throw the blur on his lap. Like, yeah, bitch, I did that. Really? Do I, do I run from my crimes more? Why lie at this point? Because I'm at my. If my lawyer's good enough, I can get out of it. I got Saul Goodman as my lure. I'm chilling. Trying to justify your actions. If you didn't make those decisions, then who did? I don't know. Twitch chat? You don't have a lawyer? I'm representing my own defense. The jury finds the defendant guilty on three counts. One. Murder. Two. Animal cruelty. You should have saved the dog. Three. Attempting free will. You're sentenced to conform without the possibility of parole. You will never again be free to choose. Damn, huh? Can I appeal the decision? Do as the Romans do. You're at the base of a bridge. You have no idea how you got here. Person stands before you, atop the overpass. They're next to a lever. A voice whispers to you, We know what's best. There's blood on these hands. Choice. Afterwards, you can jump off a bridge with us. You're at the. Oh, this will be fun. There is a runaway trolley traveling below you. You're part of the collective now. You can't let that person's free will get in the way of progress. Eliminate them. You probably should do it. Fit in with the group. Hashtag friends. Hashtag love. Hashtag insta good. <laughs> hashtag insta good. Hatch driving below you. You're part of the collector now. You can't let that person's free will. Oh, what if I just like head it out? What if I just like head it out? Do, do I want to end free will or do I just want to like, you know, log off? I, I'm gonna head out. Oh! 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 We're finally going to find out the answer to the age-old question. Oh, wow! No options here. No options here. If your friends jump off a bridge, would you? Damn! No choices. I want to kill with a machine gun if I'm gonna do it, you know? Like, I'm going to kill him with the machine gun. I can't click off it. There is only one option. Do you honestly want to kill people? Or are you just copying others? Developers know Would this is a heavy-handed metaphor for the pressures of society. Do not kill each other or jump off bridges. You agree with 100% of players worldwide. Kill your masters. My cat when she looks at me. This is it. The last question before we wrap up. By far the most important one. Do you feel society pressures you to do things you don't want to? Constantly forcing you to chase some distant concept of happiness? I mean, like, objectively, yes. Like, duh. Entry, achievement unlock. Entry level philosopher. Did I win? Voice actor, singular. One voice actor. Oh, th wait, this was made by Yogscast Games? I didn't know that. That's cool. I didn't know that. And it's in a fuck ton of languages. That's dope. Ask did I win to a choice game? I heard there was like endings, but I don't know. I didn't really look into it. People. Okay, here's our final stats. 
Eight million six hundred thousand people killed. One child killed. Seven people murdered. Eighty-five million jobs lost. One plane crashed. Four awful ideas. Three uh, three people imprisoned. One attempt to buy love. I saved zero people. One happy time. One people reunited. One apocalypse. One indie dev supported. One dead dog. Total agreement with Reed Graves is uh, 51%, and total agreement with the world is 40. Thanks for the sub, Dag. Appreciate it. Yeah, I definitely killed more children than that, so. Which, uh, there is, like, some of these were interesting. Oh, these are, this is just the fucking bibliography. I guess you need, I guess you do need a bibliography in a game like this. I thought it was gonna, like, live, like, have a fucking, uh, like, outline be from it. I thought it was gonna, like, be, like, a funky little, uh, paragraph. That's funny. The Myth of Sisyphus. Holy Bible, King James Version. So all of these were problems, like, uh, actually proposed in... in, like, uh, prior media? If they are, that's cool. They keep bringing up the damn dog. They're just here to be mean to me. Where was the Reagan one? There was one from Reagan that I wanted to read. Even the part where you're on drugs? I guess. I guess that one has a source. The, dude, there's a fucking- <laughs> There's a fucking Trump citation. Trump, the art of the deal, random house. The training problem. Executive order 12, 3, 12,333, the White House. Aristotle and uh, whatever that word is, ethics. The myth of ownership, Oxford. Source, I made it the fuck up. Oh, it, yeah, it was legit just like a, 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 a an abortion like comparison, huh? Well, that was fun. I quite liked that game. I thought that was pretty neat. Uh, if, if you all have like any suggestions for other games like that, be sure to like tweet it at me on my alt. Cause like choice games like that with like really winding stories are like easy to uh, get into for me. And like very chat interactive. I like that it had Twitch integration. That was dope though, that was dope. Hey Quate, what's your opinion on the eternal engine of rot? Where have I heard that before? Eternal Engine of Rot. What is that again? It, I, I've only seen Eternal Engine. Will this be a video? Yes. Speaking of which, did you know if you watch this on YouTube, you kind of missed out on this live where we were going over these dilemmas in real time and you actually got input on it? It was genuinely like very fun to experience. It was very cool. We'd love to have you. Twitch.tv slash quit. I'm live here on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Anyways. Fellas, the stream started late today, and that game ran a bit long, so I think I'm going to be wrapping this stream up here. I'm going to run that ad break, find someone to rate. Thank you guys for coming out today. It was a lot of fun. Uh, I'll see y'all in a minute. <coughs> hmm. All these racks give me a boner. I'm too hard. <laughs> He's just moving in place for real. I think I'm gonna raid, uh... Hoover, probably. Holy fuck, I'm a bit tired. I'm probably in for an early night tonight. It's only like 10.30. Fuck, man. I'm like an old person going to bed before midnight. That's crazy. Alright, I will see y'all, uh, on when? Or Friday, I mean. Yeah. 
I expect all y'all to be in this raid, otherwise I'll cry and be sad because you guys hate me uh, and you don't like me looking cool in front of my friends who I like send all my viewers to and it means you're uh, a bad person for making me cry and I'll shit my pants and cry. It'll be really sad. <coughs> Alright, I'll see you guys on Friday. I th Ooh, oh, he get excited guys. On Friday, the plan is to... We won't finish it, but I'm planning on starting Sally Face. I'll see y'all then.